Hello, this is Gilles at radioproppers.com. Today we're going to see the uh, Sota Beams Valley Tuner. It's a very simple unfed tuner for a half wave wire. And it's for 80, 60 and 40 meter, which is unusual because most uh, other tuners go from uh, 15 or 17 meter to, uh, to 40 meter, but not 80 meter. So uh, that's pretty much the only one I know of that uh, does this. Um, it's very simple. Uh, we'll have a look at the inside a uh, little quick. So it's just a, uh, a capacitor and a transformer, uh, nothing unusual. I wish it had a bridge and an LED like the uh, Ilertena so that you could uh, switch it to uh, tune and operate and the LED would indicate if you have a uh, good or bad SWR. But uh, it, it doesn't have that, although you can pretty much uh, hear when you uh, when you're tuned and uh, we'll see that with the uh, I have my KX2 here and I'm not very comfortable taking my KX2 outside because it's it's not weather sealed and it's it's I don't know it's it seems pretty fragile to me uh, it's a great radio I love it but uh, I wish it was a little bit more uh, weatherproof uh, even the uh, Yesu uh, ft 817 uh seems to be uh, m more weatherproof than the KX2, but the KX2 is a better radio. Um, so I'll plug that in and uh, we'll see if we can tune. Um, I have to throw a wire, a 135 foot wire in a tree with my new slingshot. I had one that uh, was a cheap uh, Chinese, well that's also a cheap Chinese version, but I had one that was foldable with a, uh, a wrist brace, but it broke, so I opted for a much simpler model made of aluminum, and this one is not going to break, obviously, so let's do that now. I underestimated the uh, length of the wire. It's uh, the thinnest gauge you can get from the wireman. I think it's 534 or 32, uh, maybe 534, 26 or 28 gauge. Uh, it goes all the way down to the river. Uh, I also underestimated the tension in the wire, so I had to tie it down a tree down there. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to plug in the uh, Sota Beam Valley Tuner and uh, see if we can get a man. Okay, everything is plugged in. I have three uh, 18650 uh, cells powering the uh, KX2. I'm on 3.615 LSB and my key's plugged in and I have a microphone. But I can't hear a thing, uh, so it's not tuned obviously. Uh, let's go to the tuner and see if uh, we can get uh, some kind of match. going to be a bit difficult. I get about a 1.8. 1.9. Well I did get a 1.8. Now at 7. 1.6. One point four, one point three to one, one point four to one. It's not bad. And I got uh, one point three to one, one point two to one on uh, three point five six zero. Oh. So I'm going to call CQ and see if I can get an answer. It's amazing how quiet the band is uh, when you're in the boonies. At my house it's very noisy, but here it's like we're on 20 meter.
Well, I didn't try for very long. The band is totally closed, no propagation, so I couldn't make any contact uh, today. I'll have to try another time. And it's, uh, it's about 7 degrees Celsius here, so I don't like the cold. <laughs> Uh, Julian from uh, Survival Tech Node is probably laughing right now watching this because uh, I don't know how he does it up there, but uh, I, I can't stand it, you know. I need about 15, 16 degrees Celsius to be happy, otherwise uh, <laughs> I don't want to be outside. I'm coming from Florida, I mean I spent 22 years in Florida, so, you know, being in the north of France is, is no fun for me. So the Valley Tuner from Soda Beams. Uh, it's a really good tuner, I, I like it. Uh, well, it's the only one that uh, does 80 meters, so uh, uh, it's very simple. Uh, I would have preferred again uh, an LED indicator for SWR, but uh, you know, you can do without. Uh, if you hear the uh, the sound uh, increase, you know, significantly, uh, you're pretty much assured that uh, you have an okay SWR. So uh, it, it, it works like that. Now, um, the wire was strung horizontally, uh, meaning uh, it was an NVIS near vertical incident skywave configuration. Uh, your signal shoots up uh, straight up and comes down uh, pretty much uh, straight down also. Uh, so you get uh, a range of about, you know, up to uh, 300 miles. So it's regional. It's not really made for DX. Uh, you probably would have to uh, string the wire uh, vertically for uh, for long distance communications, but uh, it's hard to find a tree that's uh, 140 foot tall. So, uh, um, 80 meter is a good band for prepping. Uh, again, uh, used mostly for nets, uh, voice, and Morse code, uh, uh, CW mode. Uh, the bottom of the band. Here in Europe, we have a limit, uh, uh, it's from uh, 3.5 to 3.8 megahertz. In the US, it's 3.5 to uh, 4 megahertz, uh, if I remember well. So I should remember, I uh, have my extra license. Um, so I'm going to try another time to, uh, to do it again and uh, when the bands open uh, and maybe when it's a little bit warmer. Uh, but uh, it, it does seem to work just fine. So uh, thumbs up to, uh, to Sota Beams for offering a tuner that actually uh, does tune 80 meter and will tune a 135 foot wire. And uh, that is it for now. I'm going to walk back home and uh, get warm. <laughs> so you guys have a good one and don't forget to go to radiopreppers.com and uh, we have uh, an excellent uh, forum there and uh, lots of discussions and uh, everything about uh, amateur radio and prepping. That's it guys, um, have a good one and uh, I will uh, talk to you and make another video later.